welcome back everybody and welcome to the channel if you're new let me put in full self-drive right now so we're on version 10.6.1 and uh, we're gonna do a roundabout test number two and the reason why and I'll show you here is because we have a new feature I'm a little bit excited about it it's called my curb rash cam I think we'll call it the curb rash cam um, the reason why I'm doing it is in viewer one of my videos said that full self-drive beta testers take it out of full self-drive too quickly and I worried about curb rash when it doesn't really happen and I will say uh, I don't want to get curb rash on my rims uh, and I have seen in a full self-drive video somebody get curb rash so I know it's happened how easy it happens I'm not sure I seem to feel like I've come pretty close a couple of times especially on this roundabout so we're gonna test it with the curb rash cam and I hope you enjoy um, this angle so we'll fast forward it. No, we won't fast forward it because the light's green. So I think we could see in all the curves, it would be a good test on the turns to see how close we get to the curbs. Normally it's not an issue. It doesn't feel like it's an issue here. It's going a little slow. Feels good. Staying within the lines. Handled that turn easily as I would expect it to. So I think we can see from there, it's nowhere clear, close to the curb. Now it's a pretty busy time of day. So this roundabout, I've had no success. So hopefully we have some success, but I'm not expecting anything different from the last video. But I do wanna see how close we come to the curb. Now it's had trouble at this roundabout. It stops way before a lot of viewers, and I think they're right. It's because um, of this pedestrian walkway. It sounds like an FSD. See, it comes to a complete stop. There's cars coming, so it definitely can't go, but it sounds like an FSD. Oh, it is going, so yeah, not too bad. Well, that was pretty good. That was the best it's done. So let's see how it does. Oh. Ooh. Well, I'm curious to see how close I came because I, I did on that first test already take it out of uh, full self-drive. Um, so I'm, I'm actually really curious to see that that video and how we did. I'll fast forward it uh, to do one or two more tests to see how close we come. Okay, so we're gonna put it back for roundabout test number two with curb rash cam. Let's see how it does. So on the first one, I did get a little bit nervous. I felt like it did come close. So let's see how it does on this red or red. Full stop. No cars are coming. It could go. Yeah, and it goes. I didn't feel close to the curb there. On, on regular right turns I'm, I'm not concerned um, there was on one a little concerned but generally speaking I'm not concerned uh, this roundabout I do get concerned so we're gonna see from the curb rash cam how close we get on test number two it's gonna come to a complete stop here like it usually does where it shouldn't um, it's actually going to the roundabout pretty good today so let's see how it does I might have to get I'm giving it the accelerator a little bit It didn't take it out, but I felt like it came really close again. Um, I didn't take it out of full self-drive there. Um, my, I came very close. A little too close for comfort. We'll see from the curb rash cam how close we really are. So I'll fast forward it. We'll do one more test. Okay, here we are for um, curb rash test number three. So I'll put it in full self-drive. Um, and again, it's not so much for the roundabout test. I've pretty much given up that... Um, to trust this roundabout on full self-drive at least 10.6.1 i know we'll get there um it's better than it was but not enough that i can trust it but we're doing it just because i had a couple commenters say that we take it out of full self-drive the beta testers take it out of full self-drive a little bit too quickly taking a little while to turn right here um, we take it out of full self-drive too quickly um and they want to see how close it really does come to the curb i'm curious myself I had to stop it on test number one. I probably wouldn't have hit it because I felt like it came the same distance on test number two and I didn't take it at a full self-drive. Um, I'm not gonna wait too long here. I'm probably gonna give it the accelerator after this car goes by. It's not coming. So I'm giving it the accelerator. I'll let go of the ac accelerator, see how we do. So it's going through slowly. Uh, that one, uh, yeah, not bad. Not bad, maybe a little too close for comfort, but definitely not as close as the um, as the first couple. At least I don't think so, but with the curb cam, maybe we'll call it the curb cam instead of the curb rash cam. 
the curb cam uh, we'll see for sure so I'll fast forward to here I'll turn around and uh, finish off with a couple comments and, and a little bit more of the full self drive a couple turns on the way home put in the new route we'll put into full self drive at this stop sign we'll see how it does so there's a car behind me I'm not gonna wait too long uh, it's going actually that was pretty good I had a hard time seeing so that was pretty good that it went so we're gonna get a, the same roundabout but on the way back um, it doesn't come close to any curves going this direction and I actually feel it has an easier time going this direction I'm not quite sure why the crosswalks a little closer to this roundabout so maybe it uh, it feels like it stops a little bit closer but it's slowing down way too much I mean there's no cars anywhere close to this roundabout right now um, it's gonna stop I'm giving it the accelerator only because there's a few cars behind me and there's nobody here so I'm not touching anything now it's going through it goes through this roundabout this direction pretty good so there's obviously something uh, coming back in the other direction on the roundabout, roundabout that it doesn't like I hope you like the curb cam uh, gives it a different aspect and it will give us a good test for future versions of full self-drive in fact, uh, I'm reading just the last day, day and a half, that uh, full self-drive 10.7 is supposed to come out this weekend. And Elon Musk is touting 10.7 as full self-drive 11 because he says that's how good it is. So we shall see. Don't forget to subscribe and the giveaway. We're at 99 sub subscribers at 100. Yeah, we are going to do the giveaway. I said if we get to 100 before January 1st, well, we got there quickly. So I'm going to give away these cool... Uh, puddle lights make sure you set your subscription to public i've been printing off uh people who subscribe i've been i've been photo photoshopping uh, photoshopping them i've been taking pictures of them or screenshots of them on my phone to make sure i have them but if you really want to ensure that you're in for the draw uh, the draw and you subscribed please make your subscription public so that i could see it I'll fast forward it through this red light we have an interesting uh another interesting setup coming in right after this red light where the car stops 100% of the time when there's no stop sign or red light. So we'll see how it does. We'll fast forward it through this red light because it's going to take a little while. Well, that was a long red light. I may actually, oh, I took it out of full self-drive. Let me put it back into full self-drive. That was a long light. I may have cut that portion out instead of fast forwarding it. So here we're coming up to uh, another section. I'm, I'm not, there's cars behind me, so I'm not going to let it come to a complete stop again. But uh, clearly no stop sign, no traffic light. It always comes to a stop here. See, it's starting to slow down slowing down slowing 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 down I'm gonna give it the accelerator I don't know what it is uh, it always comes to a hundred percent complete stop there could be the crosswalk but we're not even near the crosswalk when it comes to a complete stop so I don't know if it's the intersection with a crosswalk right after it um, but that will be good to see if it gets better on in fact let me do the camera snapshot to the Tesla developers hopefully that helps uh, something else I learned on um, full self-drive 10.6.1 is well, here we might have a chance here on a flashing yellow it doesn't go on flashing yellow lights on a flashing yellow left turn signal the car will not go unless you push the accelerator so I didn't know that we'll see if it, uh, it happens here it should happen but somebody uh, there's a car behind me so I won't wait too long so it's slowing down see it's stopping so I'm gonna I'm not gonna it's not it didn't stop because the light turned yellow um, I have plenty of uh, examples where even there I was pressing the accelerator and as I let go through the turn it, it, it would slow down and stop in the middle of the intersection for some reason on a left flashing signal um, the car will not go through the intersection unless you have it on the accelerator the whole time that's been my experience and it seems like that's been the experience from a couple of viewers so like I was saying before a couple things please subscribe um, chance to win puddle lights seen here again and make your subscription public if possible and give you a better chance to win. I have been screen shooting the people that have been subscribing. Thank you very much to try to capture everybody. Um, but just in case I missed anybody, if you make your subscription public, it give you a better chance to win. So here we'll have a right on red. Again, I'm not concerned about FSD rights on reds in general, except for that roundabout. I feel like we've come pretty close. Um, and it'd be a good comparison. You could see this one. We're not even close to the curb, so no issue there. I should have had that curb cam on the left side of the car to see it go over a little bit of the yellow line. It was pretty close to the yellow line. But generally speaking, yeah, uh, FSD 10.6.1, I feel like it's been the best version so far. Uh, improvements, that noticeable improvements that I could see. 10.7 is supposed to come out this weekend, so I look forward to getting some videos out and doing some of the the routes and the tests that we have, including the curb cam for that roundabout. 
we'll leave it on for uh, one more left turn here. So it's an unprotected left turn. Generally handles it pretty good. I, I find sometimes when cars are coming from the other direction, it would stop too soon. Let's see if we get any cars from the other direction. Uh, no, but there's a car turning. So we'll see how it does. Slowing down. There's a car behind me, so we'll be careful. No, pretty good. Handles it really well. Okay, see, it stopped there. It, it came to an abrupt stop. There was a car behind me, so I put it on the accelerator. Um, that was not a good left turn at all. It could have been thinking that that UPS truck, because it was going to be coming into the into the lane, but uh, it shouldn't have slowed down to an abrupt stop like that. Well, thanks again for joining me. Please subscribe. Leave a comment below if there's any other special curb cams, roof cams, hood cams that you want to see or test. Uh, leave me your comments below. And we'll see what we can do. Thanks. Bye.